Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, I know we've done a Vanellope Von Schweetz tutorial before, but I thought we would do a different pose just because Wreck It Ralph 2. So let's go ahead and draw Vanellope Von Schweetz. Now, this is a different pose, so what we're going to do is we're first going to lay out her whole entire body and then fill in the details. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out her head which is really big and it's just like long going outwards and I'm gonna go ahead and draw that eye guy line and the nose line her neck going down and then I'm going to go ahead and draw her body which is gonna go her shoulders are gonna go outwards and then we're gonna draw this part of her body going out and the rest of her body is going to go out this way and then one leg's going to go down so we're going to bring one leg down circle up and then this one is going to be straight around off the bottom and then go back up so the line of action that's going on right now is this so it's going out and then in so her hands are on her hips one arm's gonna go out this way and go into her body so if we go out bring this down box it off and then go in to the curve of her elbow, go out, go back in, so we're going to go out, in, and there we have her body all laid out. So let's go ahead and lay out her eyes first. So one eye is going to be on the eye guideline, and her nose is really simple because it's literally it's just a little dot right here. We're gonna go up with one eye, round it down on the eye guideline, and then go up and connect. So there's one eye, and it still is like in that almond kind of shape. And then we're gonna jump on the other side, so we're gonna round out the bottom on the eye line, go up. And then down. So then I'm going to go and make one eye right here, one pupil iris area. So up in the corner here, and then one pupil iris area right here. So really, really big eyes. Right. And then you're going to jump in, give a shine to her eye here and a shine to her eye right here and then her pupil will be right here and then her pupil will be right here go ahead and fill in the pupil And then for her eyelash line, you're going to go up and bring out that eyelash line. And her eyelashes go out at the corner. Same over here, really thick upper eyelash line. And then for one eyebrow, you're just going to go ahead. She has really thick eyebrows, so we're going to go down and then arch it at the corner. So really thick. And then arch it. And then you're going to jump over here. The thing is that her hair is going to be coming across this eye a little bit, so we don't see much of her eyebrow. So you're just going to go ahead and make one side of her eyebrow right here like it's going down 
They make it nice and boxy. They are very thick black eyebrows. And then what we're going to do, so her nose is pretty simple. So it's just a circle underneath her nose. We're gonna start over here, curve upwards, and then go up. And then you're gonna go underneath. So we're gonna leave this little corner here, give her a little bit of a dimple, open her mouth, and connect over here. Another dimple over here. And then you're going to go ahead and curve, like she has two buck teeth, so you're just kinda, I don't like to indent the teeth too much, like that's a little bit too much, so let's go ahead and clear out this, the inside. So we still want this shape, but what I like to do with the teeth instead of like lining it, I just kind of go like up a little bit, round it, and make like another little indention here, and then go up kind of darken right there and we can just kind of like lightly give a line there that way it's not too obnoxious because she does have these cute little buck teeth but you don't want to go too crazy with them so just a little bit of a line there and if you just give a couple of indentions of her four front teeth that's good enough and just make a little line underneath to give her she has a little bit of lip color Another thing is she does have a couple of harsh lines underneath her eyes. So we've got a harsh line here and a harsh line here. I'm sure they're just laugh lines because she smiles a lot. And then we're going to come down from, let's shape up her face a little bit more. So bring this down, bring out her cheeks a little bit more, round it down, round them out a little bit. Come to a point on their chin, round up. One big ear over here, and another big round ear over here. So she has a very large forehead, so let's start with her bangs first. So we have her bangs start to go this way, and one side of her hair starts to go this way. So I'm going to start with this section over here. Her bangs are going to go across and on the side of her face. And then we got a couple of like whimsy little pieces here. And then this side of her bangs is gonna go straight down, all the way down to the side of her face. And it's just this big section, it's gonna go right across that eyebrow. And then she has like one section of hair going inwards here in the middle, towards the middle. So this is one big section of hair right here. From her bangs, from behind her ear, you're gonna go up. And then round that down. So I round this down and then I'll make another section and that's gonna go down into here. So this is her hair being pulled back into a ponytail. And her ponytail is right here. So what you're going to do is we're going to go up and down. And then you're going to go up. And then up. Above. Curve inward. So you're going to go up. Curve in. And then out. So in. And then her ponytail's gonna go back here. So you got a little section going this way. And then a little section going this way and then into her ear. Cause the rest of her hair is hiding behind her head. <laughs> Let's give a little bit more direction to her hair. So, and then we see like a little bit of a gap here. So that means we've got all this hair And the thing about this licorice ponytail holder is it's got like stripes in the middle just to give it more. So we have her hair. 
Now another big thing about Vanellope is she does have candy all over her hair. So when before you actually make like the way of her hair is gonna go. So we got this one section here and this and then this section's going up. And then we've got a section of hair going this way. What I like to do is I like to kind of leave the oh like the shiny parts open. That way I can go ahead and put in a couple of little pieces of like confetti sprinkles all in her hair. Not too complicated. I don't really get too crazy with it, but it's just all over her hair like she slept in a bunch of sprinkles. I'm going to darken her eyelashes just a little bit. After that, let's actually jump into her ears. I'm just going to give one line here and then the other line over here just to give a little bit of ear definition. So let's jump down to her, her sweatshirt. So this is her neck right here pretty easy. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to jump behind, go in front, give it more of a v-neck, and then bring this side over here. And then I'm going to bring out this side of her arm. So we've got just like, we're going to bring out this side of her hoodie here, and then bring down this side of her hoodie over here. Just give a little bit of an indention. And then we have one string cord to her hoodie here. And then one string cord here. And just make it like a little knot. And then a little plastic part to the cords of your sweatshirts. And then her hoodie actually goes right back here. So we see the other side of the hoodie on the side. So we'll jump to her armpit. Bring this out just a little bit more. Bring it on the side. So this goes out, in. And then the bottom of the sleeve gets cut off right about here. Go back in and bring out this side. And I make a line so it's just like a seam to her, her actual sweatshirt. And then her hands are really easy because you just go up. There's her thumb. Curve around her fist. And that's it for one fist over here. So let's define this a little bit more. But we kind of want to give more indentions to her sweatshirt. Alright, so let's jump off to the side over here, bring out this sweatshirt. It's all a little bit bunchy. And then another little like crease here and crease here. So we're going to curve out the sleeve this way, go back in, and then her fist just goes off to the side over here. And that's where it is. And then this is actually going to go out. And then in, go across, and then bring up this side, just give it a couple more bunches. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and give the hoodie pocket, so I'm going to go across here, bring down this side, go down, and then go back up, just a simple hoodie. And you've got one cross pink seam here, a little bit of a, like a stitch here, and a stitch going across here. And then for her skirt, what you're going to do is divide it up into two sections. So I'm going to go out this way, go across, and go out that way. And then I'm going to go below that, bring out this side, go across, and then go back in. Now the thing about her skirt is it's in pleats, so I go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another pleat here. And what you want to do with the pleats is you want to follow, you want to go in, out, in, out, in. There's her pleated skirt. And then for her feet, what you want to do, so we want to make these a little bit wider. So I'm going to bring out this side of her leg just a little bit. Just bring out this side around the bottom. And 
the side I'm just gonna bring out over here just a little bit give it a little bit more thickness and then I'm gonna cut off the bottom here and then cut off the bottom right here so this one's gonna go in and then out and this one's gonna go in out crease here crease here bring out her stripes this way, bring out her stripes this way. Now there's two different stripe patterns on each side. So this stripe pattern is gonna go across, and a stripe here, a stripe here, and a stripe here. Now this one over here is gonna go across over there, here, and then there's a, a line here, and then another line here. And then we're just gonna give her a little bit of her pink soles at the bottom of her shoes. And there we go. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Vanilla P. Von Schweetz. I know we did it a long time ago, but here it is again, how to draw her. I hope you all will go see Wreck-It Ralph 2. Uh, Ralph breaks the internet. I'm so excited to see it. But yes, guys, I really hope you enjoyed revisiting drawing Vanilla P. Von Schweetz. We've all grown as artists, especially myself. So this was a lot of fun, super easy, and she's a really awesome character. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!